He's pretty good. I think he's gonna look good in the pond. Oh my gosh, there he is. Woo! What is going on guys? Back with another YouTube video today. We're gonna be driving down south to go rehome a giant red-tailed catfish. One of my friends has him right now as a pet and he's outgrowing his tank. Knowing me, having a nice pond. We're gonna have to go drive down there. We're gonna go get this red-tailed catfish. It's about 12 inches long. If you guys didn't know this, on our last video, we had a giant Quaco in here. And honestly, for the week that I had it, he's done an amazing job. He cleaned out all of the algae and we're gonna rehome my pet Playco called Jeremy the Janitor in my neighbor's pond. We're loading up my neighbor's pond with exotic pets too, and he says he loves it. So anyways, let's get right into this video. Let's drive down south. Let's go get this red-tailed catfish. We're pulling up at the house right now. We're gonna check out this red-tailed catfish and see what other fish he has. We just arrived at the house. Check out the tank behind me. Check this thing out. This is my boy Adam's tank. He has an Oscar, he has a red tail. He has all these other fish. I don't know what these fish are. That's a ghost knife. I've actually caught one of these in the canal. But check out this red tail. He's going to be coming home with us. He's getting too big for this tank. What is up, Adam? All right, man. You're show, good. Yeah, show us your tank real quick. So over here, I actually have an Oscar. I got him about four, uh, actually three months ago. He was about an inch and a half, two oh. inches. And I actually started feeding him. Oh, feed him. Cichlid gold with some Aquion fish medley monster fish stuff. And... He has absolutely grown. He's actually about six inches right now. Jeez. Um, I just got this catfish back in October of 2022. Started feeding him some chicken hearts, frozen shrimp, silver sides. Jeez. Any kind of fish I could feed him. And he has, I mean, he's Triple. outgrown my tank. I remember when you had him when it was like this big. Oh, he was, he was a baby. He Just his head alone where his gills are, he was that size. And he has tripled. Jeez. So today, today's actually my birthday and he's leaving. Oh yeah, happy birthday. I forgot. <laughs> Boys. He's actually leaving on my birthday, but that'll make a good memory. Over here, we have a uh, Geophagus. I actually got him probably about half the size he was. He had actually grown a lot. Um, I had this angelfish. This angelfish was having babies with my uh, father angelfish, and I had to get rid of the father because <laughs> I would have about 200 angelfish babies every month. Okay. And I didn't have the tank capacity for that, but after that... Um, just got a little Playco down there. He hopefully will be taking him today. Yep. And I have a uh, catfish. I don't know what kind of catfish he is. I do forget. I think he's a blue water catfish. I have no idea. But he does <laughs> like to sit under his dorsal fin. So I believe if it. Brandon wants to take both, I'd be more than happy. Yeah. And we do have a Salvini cichlid. They stay pretty small. They do grow, but it's a, sm it's a small growth time. So. I think I've seen these in the wild too. Oh yeah. I mean, I've caught the ghost knife. And of course I got the ghost knife out of here. So. That's sick. That feels good. Pretty much almost, he's almost out of space. Yeah, he's, he's pretty good. I think he's gonna look good in the pond. All right, Adam, let's go ahead and let's feed some of your fish. Let's check out what's gonna happen. In half, start dropping them down. Typically at this size, they'll eat about um, seven to eight of these full size. You break them down, same size, eight, seven uh -huh. to eight. This red tail's so sick. What should we name, what's his name? I actually believe it or not, I've had fish pretty much half my life, but I've never actually named my fish. Oh no, it looks like- So, I think it's time to let's actually name them. We'll think of a name real quick. Oh, uh, I, th I, I think- Off camera probably. I think we should let the commenters name this one, because you guys I have agree too. nice name. You a little nervous. Oh yeah, he looks a little- He's gonna keep going for the fish, but he's a little shy. Uh, Catfish, like... actually, believe it or not, they are shy fish, but he is actually hungry. Oh, one, one, two, th he already ate two. Jeez. Oh, come on, buddy. Oh, he needs, a, he needs a little snacky for the road, right? Of course, man. Oh, look, another tank. Let's check it out. What fish do you have in here? Tell me about them. So we got a goldfish recently added. Um, oh, these yeah. angelfish right here and right here are actually babies. I just had them about three months ago from oh, this nice. size up to this size, which the father you saw in that previous tank. Oh, yeah, it had babies? Yep, full babies. They had about 200, 250 Jeez. babies. Um, we got some tetras in the back. Yeah, and besides the tetras. There, they're pretty dope. Besides that, nothing much in this tank, just a plan. I know you're selling this tank, tank, right? You yes, want to sell it? It is. It is for sale. How much? About 150 full setup. All right. Send them a DM if you want it. <laughs> All right. It's time to make the mess. All right. Put the pump in. Up Alrighty, the pump is in. It's getting a little scared. It's gonna fill up fast. Oh, I know. How many gallons per minute? 
Oh, it's about a 500 gallon per minute ton. Nice. So it's going to keep it about 20 seconds for this. So I told Brandon to bring a bigger net. This is actually my largest net. Oh, and dude. I got a few others, but let's see how this works. If, Gran if Brandon got to grab it with his hands, get the daggers in his fingers, oh, no. it's kind of actually worth it. Alrighty. That's a small net, bro. Oh, no. Woo! He's fast. He's a fast boy, so we're going to have to figure out something out here. You don't have a bigger net? <laughs> no fish tour sells a bigger net, bigger net than this. Jeez. Wait, wait, wait. I do have a bigger net. Alrighty. All right, we got the bigger net now. Check this thing out. This thing's going to get him done. Get the fun part. Oh, this looks a lot easier. Oh, no, for sure. He's going to be... Let's see that. Oh. <laughs> it's almost like you need to. It's the only way but up. <laughs> the neck keeps getting. If you take one of the woods out, you might be good. Yeah. All right, we had to remove all the wood to get this thing because this thing's pretty fast. Come on, buddy. The clown wants to go, I think. Push him with your hand towards me. Yep. Well, I got tap the tap the glass. He might. Yeah. Come on. Come on. All right, you got him right there. <laughs> All right, that was actually a little bit easier than I thought. Not that bad, guys. Not bad. You were kind of <laughs> soaked, I'm soaked. I'm soaked, but I'm feeling good. My, my boy, just Brandon, just got a big old catfish. I'm so good. <laughs> All right, Placo time. Fish one. Adam zero. All right. <laughs> You're holding the glass like that was going to help. <laughs> You're like this. Shh. All right, guys, it's time to... Bring my red tail catfish home. Put the aerator on them. That thing's bubbling real good. It's all ready to go. Thank you, Adam. Always, guys. Woo! It's Glad to rehome them. Yep. I hope you fill this thing up with a lot of fish soon. It's going to be a reef tank shortly, man. Uh-oh. Reef tank. No more Oscar. Uh, once he regrows, he's going to outgrow it. So yeah. Brandon will have him shortly, too. <laughs> maybe. So, maybe, 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 maybe my neighbor's pond. Maybe. Hopefully. He'll join my other Oscar. Oh. Hey guys, we got the red tail catfish and the Placo in there. They're chilling. Let's go ahead and let's go home. On the way home now, and it's about a 50 minute drive, and we got the red tail and the Placo in the cooler. Right when we get home, we're gonna have to remove Jeremy the janitor and put him in my neighbor's pond. Guys, we have made it to the house. We got the red tail here. Come check him out. It's doing really good right now. Got the aerator on him still, and we got my little Placo. Let's start the acclimation process and Get Jeremy the janitor to his new home. You guys can see, look at how clear the pond is now. This Placo has been eating so much algae in here. Where is he? He's over here somewhere. He's in the, he's in the cave. Jeez, where did he, where'd he go? He's in the cave, I think. He might be over there. Dump that in. Do one more. Sweet. I think one more should be good for now. And in about 30 more minutes, we'll put more water in there. All right, guys, this is a fun part. Let's go ahead. Let's go catch this Placo. He's huge. You guys don't see him. He's under there. We're going to get a little bit of water. And run him over to my neighbor's pond. Let me get on the back side. We're gonna be catching them with our hands. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh. oh, come on, he's getting me wet. Ugh. Oh my gosh, there he is. Woo, woo, oh, there he goes. Come on, buddy. Oh. Head first. All right. Let's go ahead, let's go to the neighbor's pond. We made it to the neighbor's pond and come check it out. Look at how huge this thing is. I don't, I haven't really shown it off in that many videos. 
but let's go ahead. Let's go release Jeremy the janitor. Oh my gosh, this thing's massive. Guys, check that thing out. Look at how big he is. This is gonna be a beast in here. Oh. All right, we're gonna have to release him like right here, I think. All right, buddy. Go ahead. He's gonna freaking eat so much algae in here. That's gonna be nice for this pond. All right, guys. The red tail catfish is fully acclimated now. Let's go ahead and let's go put him in the pond. It's gonna be kind of hard. I know he's kind of fast, so we're gonna try. Come on, buddy. I got him. Let's go ahead. Let's put him in. Oh, he's so beautiful. All right, and there he goes. Jeez, he's so fast. Oh, he's looking nice. Let's go ahead and get the pico too. Oh, there goes the aerator. Save the day. Save the day. Come on, come on. Get, get the water out. Let's hopefully we don't get shocked. All right. That's gonna have to dry out later, but let's get the Mr. Pleco. I'm the best at catching them with my hands. Oh my gosh, this one's harder. Oh, look at him, he's so cute, look at him. Let's get a close up of him. Oh yeah, he's looking beautiful. <gasps> look at him, he's so cute down there. Come here, buddy. Oh, he's looking so cute. Oh, look, he's going in the cave. Wait, he's going in the cave. He's checking it out. He's checking out the vibes. Oh, and there he goes. Oh, check him out. He's checking out the pond. He's checking out where he could go. He does like that cave. I think he's going to live there, actually. It really looks like he's loving the pond. I can't wait to get some plants in here. It will look so sick. Maybe some plants over here and a little bit over there. This was such a successful day. We moved Jeremy the Jenner to my neighbor's pond. We also picked up this red tug catfish, which is also my dream fish. Everything went accordingly to plan. We also got that baby Placo, which is really nice to help out with the algae. I think he went under there, which is super sick. If you guys like this video, make sure to like this video. Comment if you haven't already. We do need a name for this red-tailed catfish, so go ahead and go down there. Comment a name, what I should name it. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.